Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines for the Twin Flames, December 28th to January 3rd. Um, I really hope that portal, December, the 1221 portal was really good for you guys. I know it was good for me. I did have personal, so I did take a step back. And then of course it, yeah, so the holidays for me at least. Um, so let's see, Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines, Twin Flame, December 28th to January 3rd. You can see my Despicable Me peace sign t-shirt. <laughs> cool. Okay, one more shuffle. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, December 28, 2020 to January 3rd, 2021. What's going to be the messages for the week? Lord of Romance, guys. Let's take a look. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. December 28th to January 3rd. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Thank you. So Divine Feminines, you guys might have a lot of anxiety just because that card popped out when I said you guys. And the Divine Masculine, it's Happy Family. This is a Twin Flame card to me in this deck. So I feel like you might be worried because, you know, this situation might not be moving at the pace that you want it to, Divine Feminine. But the Divine Masculine, I feel like, is trying to figure out how to lead a relationship um, like how to be in charge of it, like without manipulating the control. So divine feminine and divine masculine. Yeah. Angel of balance right there. You see, that's kind of what I see the balance towards the deceit, towards all the lies, the games, the manipulation, the charade, the, the narcissism, the disorders, the, you know, the, the I'm not even going to go into that. Um, well, I mean, I try not to talk too much into spiritual warfare, but I, I just try to tell you guys to make good choices for you. Um, yeah, because that's kind of all you really need to know. So, let's see. Uh, Twin Flames, December 28th to January 3rd. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Let's take a look here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So he, um, the Divine Masculine is seeing the Divine Feminine and Gender Fluid as someone who's very stable, very nurturing. But you see how this Queen of Pentacles here, like she, she's sitting on her coin. Okay, she's not quick to give it up. So Divine Feminine, you could have in the past been very generous. And here with this King of Wands, I feel like that's what they, they're focused on that. How giving you were, how very nurturing you were. And with the Four of Swords, you know, there is healing involved here. A lot of introspection, um... It could be in regards to the anxiety, but that's just your fears, you know? Once you elevate your, like, just don't be fearful. Don't worry about it. So Divine Masculine. See, Eight of Pentacles. So to be more balanced, you guys should be choosing to, yeah, focus more on your finances right now. See, Divine Feminine, the only thing that's keeping you worried is, is the fears. With that Nine of Wands, any fears or insecurities i don't mean like towards yourself because i feel like divine feminine you're very confident right now i feel like it's more like fears and is this cycle gonna repeat itself am i gonna get cheated on am i gonna get you know this that and the third those fears those insecurities you know the those you know not not like oh skinny fat tall whatever but you know whatever it is and not that you know it's it's the the just the insecurity, you know, I just feel like it's worrying. You're just worried, overthinking maybe. Let's see, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, what is that? Yeah, Six of Wands, you see? So I feel like the Divine Masculine is very confident in you guys having a family here with the Six of Wands. Because the Six of Wands is a very confident card. Clarify that Six of Wands. See, yeah, that Sun card here. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, a lot of you guys are choosing to focus on your money. You're very stable right now. You know, and if you're not stable right now, that's something that's going to improve. You see, in the past, you know, your person could have been dealing with someone who unfortunately was very, they thought down there, they didn't think up here, you know. So um, they, they, um, just this person wasn't right. This is someone who uses their looks, t you know, to their advantage. Um, and they could have jumped into a relationship with that in the past. 
or this could have been them acting that way or that's how they were seeing you you know you could have been or this is a karmic person you know who is like just in just using that down there as power to manipulate okay and this was hard lessons learned here with this high priest um this is also commitment so for the family card you know there is a commitment that is wanting to happen but you see with that toxic energies um let's take a look here what is that deceit card actually that's right there at the bottom of the deck and then i use this deck and this deck and i'll close it out okay so what is that deceit card divine feminine december 28th to january 3rd divine masculine as well the deceit card thank you see there's lies okay so the divine masculine just because it landed on his side in regards to the deceit you know i feel like you guys are both the divine masculine might not be telling you that he's not juggling you it's just he has a mountain of responsibilities of debt of bills of payments like this is he constantly feels like life is not catching is giving him he or she a break the divine masculine a break you know this is life is an uphill battle i never catch a break and you know things are just always in the way with my queen here and you know how can i get things right so um and so i feel like he, he the lies come in because of finances because of bills responsibilities and then that's where the lies come in where it, it might be an illusion of a lie but it's more like you know just tell me you have bills or you're working or you know something like that just tell me you have things to take care of right now um and you know and i feel like this is what he's doing right now to prepare for the family he or she of course you know, taking care of responsibilities, very prideful and happy that they could make this happen. Probably going to tell you, hey, I want a family with you. I want to start something with you. Okay. And here we have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So you guys need to balance out the fact that, you know, someone could be very focused on money and the other person is very independent and stable. So one person could be trying to save money and then like the other person is just thinking like a victim okay with that ten of swords here with that angel of balance and this ace of wands you know thinking like a victim is what will cause you know make it not balanced but it is saying here that you guys both do not want to end well this is often a card with the ten of swords upside down like you're thinking of a victim but you know with this ten of swords here i feel like you guys just don't want to end it you know it could have been a bloodbath of a battle here you know there was a lot of tears shed um, but you guys don't want to end this. I don't think any of you guys are thinking like a victim. I just think someone is very focused on working and saving money and the other person just has money and there's a new beginning here and that could be another lie. You know, you guys could just be pretending like, oh, I don't want this. But meanwhile, you guys are trying to fix your finances so you guys could do this again. Like, <laughs> so let's see. Um, <laughs> well, that's funny. All right. Well, I guess. I mean, I don't judge. <laughs> so what is the anxiety here for Divine Feminine besides that Nine of Wands? Okay. Yeah. See, you're just worried. Is this going to be balanced? You know, are they going to be, is it going to be, you know, am I going to be getting the energy that I'm putting out, you know? Uh, are we going to be going half and half with things like, you know, and that's that's where you're worried with that devil card there. The devil is a liar. OK, he'll make he'll tell you you're you're afraid and this, this, that, the third. Don't listen to him. OK, there's no need to be worried because, <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this is still going to happen. It's just there's a lot of what's in the way. What's blocking the connection right now? The faith. Yeah, it's just you guys are lacking faith right now, lacking hope. And so this is something you guys have to walk away from, you know, to regain your faith. You see, because right now it's making you guys wishy-washy. Like, one minute, yes, I want this. The next minute, I'm done. I'm blocking this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, So uh, I think you kind of need to make up your mind here. See the hermit card sideways. So some of you guys have been working on yourselves. You know, working on your anxiety, you know, you've been sitting in your emotions, you've been feeling them. Others of you guys have not been doing that, you've been blocking it off. And you see, you guys need to walk away from this wanting, um, well, why is that? What is the Eight of Cups? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, before I move on to the next deck, what is that Eight of Cups? 
the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So, yeah, he wants to walk away from toxic energies. Um, and I feel like this is also someone who they don't like that it's not balanced. You see, someone's working hard and someone just sits on, you know, someone has money. The Knight of Pentacles is often someone who has to, you know, put in the work. They're a workaholic often. They're very obsessed with success, you know, the Knight of Pentacles. It's someone who is like, you know, a young adult trying to make it, you know, like they really want to be a full grown adult like that made it. And here with the Eight of Cups, um, and that justice card, you know, I feel like you just shouldn't care, <laughs> you know, just don't care just completely about all the responsibilities and the finances. I mean, I understand with how the world is right now. Finances are a huge concern. You know what? I'll get my romance angel deck too. Um, I know finances are like a huge concern, but let's see. This is just for this week, you know, just try to not dwell in the emotion you know what i mean don't sit in there and have like a pity party like really do try to have positive thoughts and keep yourself out there uh with that eight of cups you know there's some emotional baggage that you might have to walk away from you know more purging to do um that way you can be more balanced or even just this person's gonna message you and you guys are gonna balance out like i, I feel like some of you guys are done with this and some of you guys still want this you know, uh, like I said, you know, one day you guys want it, the next minute you don't. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, both of you guys feel like this is really hard with that Ten of Wands. And here, Divine Feminine, um, see, you might be kind of a little bit bitter or resentful or just, just you're not forgiving about the fact that it was not balanced in the past. You know, it just, it was not necessary for it not to be balanced. So, like, like you know, it's just this person didn't cooperate with you i guess you could say and then here with the four of cups upside down and the queen of swords you know i feel like you know you might be kind of because i don't even feel like you're bitter or resentful i just feel like you're not forgiving um just kind of a lot of you may just a few of you guys might not have forgiven the fact that they didn't do much for you not that you you're not going to take them back just that they didn't do much for you you, you haven't forgave that yet um, you still have love for them. Yes, you do. But you haven't forgave how, you know, you it was not a balanced situation in the past. And with the Queen of Swords upside down, you probably were saying it a lot in the past. And now it's like, dude, I'm not even going to say it to you anymore. <laughs> like, it should, I shouldn't tell you how to date me. Like, you should know. It should just be, we're balanced. Or, you know, something like that. Especially with that Two of Cups, King of Cups. You know, he loves you, but there's some sort of wall up you might have, Divine Feminine, because, you know, there's still more patience that needs to come out here. Because someone still has more karma. Like, okay, they need to face more of themselves or you to be more at peace. Because there's a whole lot of overthinking here. Okay, and I say that, Divine Feminine's here with that Hermit card sideways. Some of you guys have been doing the emotional work. Some of you guys have not. Don't don't hate me. I, I didn't say you. If the shoe fits, wear it. But, you know. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, December 28th, January 3rd. I wrote it down because I keep forgetting the date. Okay. But I'm doing spirit. Yeah, see, someone's suffering in silence. But that is their karma. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And... They'll, they'll overcome it. It will be beaten. Yeah, this is just a tower moment. You need to change the way you're doing things. Whether that's you or them, you know. Just if you don't like where you're at, make different choices. Stop taking yourself there. Um, that's more like for the masculines, I feel like, here. But yeah, movement choices and decisions. Fertility. So see, he needs to make a decision. The divine masculine here on this side needs to make decisions and investments based on things that will grow with that fertility card. Things that can grow. Some of you guys might be pregnant, hoping to get pregnant, hoping to start a family. And, you know, you're in this. I'm, you know, you guys are both trying to make this choice here. Triumph. Yeah, you're probably sitting on your high horse, Divine Feminine. Solar plexus chakra. You've grounded everything that you are. are you've grounded yourself. 
you know that you can. You gained your power and your confidence back. The sacral chakra has a lot to do with having the guts to do something. It's like right here in the stomach area, you know, having the guts to do something, you know, and yeah, you see obstacles and challenges. So you might have a few obstacles and challenges, Divine Feminine. Um, it could be even you here, the one that's suffering in silence in regards to a firm foundation because you could have made a lot of sacrifices, okay? But let's get a card for that. Obstacles and challenges here. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. See, Nine of Swords. See, there's just stress over what? Okay, over the commitment. I mean, they are going to help you out. Don't think they're going to come in and you're going to be paying all the bills, okay? We have this king, this man holding a coin here at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, um, if that's something that you're worried about personally, like, just try not to. I know, okay, in all honesty, divorce is the number reason for, like, I mean, financial support is, you know, finances are the number one reason for divorce. I kid you not. Like, but um, what I mean is that, like, honestly, with the way the world is right now, it's it's the tower moment to kind of get you to change your mind from that. You know, just um, put some of that love on yourself. This person is still going to come in with the three pentacles. It's often you. It's the mind, body, soul, and spirit. So there's a balance that is needed here on your side, okay? This is just for this week um, because, yeah, uh, someone's kind of trying to lie to you and it's not true. So uh, let me take a look with this deck. Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, and Divine Feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. One more shuffle, Twin Flame, DMDF. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Do you want it? Do you know? Yes, dope. Yes, dope. Divine masculine, divine feminine. And I know to forgive is hard. To forget is hard. But it's just kind of if you love this person unconditionally. You guys can move on from this. And it landed on the masculine side. So he really is contemplating a marriage with this situation involved marriage here. You know, I feel like they're honestly learning how to lead a relationship. You see, but there's some deception here. Someone might be wearing a, a false self mask. So, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. Yeah, Colleen, your soulmate. So, you guys can be doing praying, letting go of your twin flame and praying for a soulmate. Um, chemistry, others of you guys, you know, you still have a strong magnetic attraction to your... Um, you know, a twin flame. So you could be kind of just sticking around, but there's still addictions in the way. Uh, so twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. I get one more card. Thank you. Yeah, forgiving and learning. You see, you might have a lot of anxiety in regards to a commitment. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Just there's some healing that has to be involved. That way this devil energy can get out. Okay. Uh, with that nine of cups, you know, this is so you guys can have what you want. It's just balancing out the energies. But um, yeah, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So even if you guys talk and you have to kind of like vent a little bit. That kind of needs to happen so you guys can move forward from this, you know? And it could be in regards to the addictions. Uh, you know, there could have been substance addictions. And there's also other addictions. You could get addicted to making money. You could get addicted to working. You could get addicted to working out, shopping, food. Like, there's a whole bunch of things you can get addicted to with that codependency, addictions that are affecting your romantic life. You know, addicted to social media. You know, there's all types of things that... You know, that you, someone, that you guys kind of have to talk about. You know, there, there might have to be a small conversation, like, to move forward. I don't know. Here, let's see. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame, Summer 28th, January 3rd. I regret lying to you. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, December 28th to January 3rd. So there's still sexual energy here. I want you. So Divine Masculine still wants to sleep with Divine Feminine. I don't react when people mention you. Just being near you is intoxicating. So you might be kind of, you know, 
hooked on them, but you're in this position, Divine Feminine, where, you know, they probably put these through a lot. Yeah, see, I know that I crossed the line with you, and so they don't, you know, you don't react when people mention them. I love you. I'm so attracted to you. You were the best thing in my life, and I regret lying to you again. So, yeah. Just some, a lot of healing that has to be involved here. There's still an attraction. There's still love. There's still sexual energy. It's just there's a lot of forgiving and learning that needs to take place. You know, if you're worried about finances, I feel like the Divine Masculine is planning on taking action. See, it even says here, door to personal healing and happiness. So, you know, they could have had some sort of hatred towards wanting to help women, something like that. Yeah. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead. Um, or, you know, or men. Okay, I've seen women embody the masculine. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. This helped you guys out in any way. You guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Okay, thank you. Bye.